Okay, for one of the more common questions we get asked frequently is how to replace the seat belt pre-tensioners uh, and need some instructions. This particular type has what we call the black tube that comes out and it curls right inside of here. This tube assembly curls both directions. Some of them point from this direction, some of them come from this side and point this direction. So when we're asking you to look at these from left to right, some of them are both uh, the exact same way and some of them are opposites. So you have a left and a right. Inside of this tube assembly, how it functions, uh, just for your own curiosity, you've got an igniter that sits right up inside this little neck right here. The igniter looks something like this. You can't replace the igniter unless you replace the entire tube assembly. Inside of this igniter, you've got your two little pins, as you can see, and we're talking about removing the, uh, the shorting clips and testing these seat belt tensions. You can see on this one right here, you've got these two little shiny pieces. These run down inside there. Let me see if I can focus this a little bit better here. Okay, so you can see down inside, those go down inside the, uh, the hole and they just rest against the two posts in there. This can pinch together, you can push this together from each side and pull this out. So if you have a different plastic connector on your seat belt pre tensioner just pull that out and replace it with your original one and your connector will plug in. I pulled the one out of this one here just so you can get a better view. When that pulls out, you just got your two posts in here. So if you're checking this for resistance right here with your ohm meter, it'll be uh, a zero reading because it's already deployed the, uh, the seat belt. Okay. After that, you'll look on the side to get this piece out of there. You'll notice you've got two rivets on each side. You've got to drill those out. Once you drill it out, this top cover here comes off. There's a coil spring wrapped up inside of this. Be careful not to let this cover come off and that coil spring fly apart. You've got to keep that together. You'll never get that back in there. Okay. Uh, normally, they'll just sit there, but just be very gentle when you pull this cover off. The, the rivets are long on these. They go all the way through the bottom. You can see right here the bottom side. Uh, it may be easier to, um, to try to drill one of these if you can, to get your seat belt the way to drill it from the bottom. I don't know. I would, when we drill ours on a drill press, we take and we're very careful to get our center punch right in the middle. These are very hard. You want to make sure you're centered on these or you're never going to get them to drill out very well. We're not going to spend the time on this video showing you how to drill out rivets. I think you guys can do that on your own. So once they're drilled out, You've also got to take this outside cap off here. This little cap right here uh, will hold all these ball bearings that come from the, uh, the igniter piece that we're sending you. So you pry the outside edge off of here, here, and in here, and, and you just pry it out to get that off, and, and that, that whole little casing will come off. If not, it, it, it's holding you on here with your aluminum hardware that you have to get off. So drill out the rivets here. Pry off the, the outside cover there. You're going to throw the ball bearings in the trash. We're going to send you new hardware that's got the ball bearings in it. Okay? All right. So that's what you're going to be replacing. The piece that we're going to send you looks just like this. Here's a new one. And you may have a black one. We're going to send you one maybe a different color. It won't matter. If this doesn't plug in again, remove this and put in put in the original one from your uh, your seat belt. It'll match up. This is, what your, this is what your goal is to put this in there. All right. So I've got one here. We've already drilled open. Give you kind of an idea of what it's going to look like after that. Here's the case that comes off of it. You'll have some ball bearings in there. Pull that off on the side. You're going to reattach that. Here's the cover that comes off. Then here's the coil spring inside. I'm just kind of keep my thumbs on here so it doesn't fly apart on me. This is in there pretty good, but uh, I just get nervous about these things. They let loose. We're, we're in a bad way. We're not going to get this back together. All right. After that, you've got your your seat belt hardware that's going to be exposed and this is what it looks like after that you can see here this is where your rivets were here and right down inside there that's where the rivets uh, were that were drilled out of this one alright now look very carefully in here and you can see the ball bearing that's trying to fall out as it sits on top of this gear so how this works the, the charge detonates here there's ball bearings that are packed in this tube the ball bearings come out of the tube at a very rapid rate and they spin this gear to take the slack out of the seat belt pretensioner. So that's the reason you have to replace the entire cartridge. Just replacing the head of this won't do anything but trick the airbag light and this will not be a functioning seat belt later. So carefully just remove this once the hardware is out. You can see your ball bearing is trying to roll out of there. So you can get that out of the way. That's the piece that you're after. That's the goal. And then when you roll this up on its side, and just keeping my finger on to hold it still, you can see inside of here how the ball bearings will carefully fit the, the sprocket there, um, just like a bicycle gear. All right? So that's as far down as you have to take it. This will then let you spin this thing 
and, and rotate it and, and do what you do. I don't see anything on this one that's broken or anything further as I'm looking for an inspection piece on this. Here's your new part that goes back on it. You would, you would set this inside of there just like the other one came off and then reassemble it, put your bolts in here, reattach your cap and you're finished. Send us an email if you have any further questions and we'll get into more details with this if needed to.